versus two, Master's Cup. Hello there, and we are now formally live in game one of the quarterfinals. You can see here, Isolde, the recent win winner of the 1v1 Elite Showdown, locking in Brits, locking in Royal Engineer Regiment. His teammate, Von Aston, a big winner in tournaments of the last two years. He's got the Soviets. Who do we find in the north? My co-caster, Sturm Tiger Gaddafi. Well, we have the team collectively known as Company Heroes Experts. Oh, of course, yes. Paul, Paul Young playing as uh, Austere, and of course we got the great one Ivan playing as OKW. Oh yes, and the commanders they're locking in. Oh my god, what the hell is that commander? I've never even seen that one before. Special op... Uh, is that Ration's Doctrine? Yeah, what, Is this a new one? Is this one of the new ones from the revamp, is it? I've never seen this commander in my life. Quite frankly, I have no idea what kind of abilities it has, and I don't know anything about this commander whatsoever. Well, Let's find out. This is exciting stuff. Unprecedented, ground-breaking action on Alliance of Defiance. This is yeah. awesome. And, and Bao Liang, of course, going for that same old uh, strategic reserves doctrine, which is uh, completely not new at all and uneventful. Absolutely not. I mean, it's just going to be a whole bunch of guys running around with uh, assault guns and they're going to be wrecking some havoc, hopefully, for our entertainment. Of course, well called out in chat, it is indeed 0-0, zero, zero. it's a best of three, it's the first game. And this is to uh, go into the semi-final, but they are the last team to go into the semi-finals, the victors of this series. Nice close quarter combat action from Bao Liang with his Salt Grenadiers, perfect for the south side of Alliance of Defiance. Yeah, he chose to ch chase those Tommies away pretty quickly with those three Model S Grants. Of course, they're getting lit up now by Tommies, and we have the scout car coming in, and they're... Retreating. Life choice. Greetings to our friends in the Korean side of the Company of Heroes community. Getting hosted for 89 viewers. Welcome one and all. This is going to be an excellent confrontation. And we've got our first possible loss of the battlefield. This pioneer dies to the Tommy onslaught. As Von Aston uses the M3 to penetrate deep within the Axis lines. Oh, M3 might go down. No, no, no. Shots didn't connect. Saved just by skin of its teeth. Indeed, and in the mid, we've got Von Ivan on the march. He's got three folks grenadiers. A lot of courage and conviction as the penal battalions take refuge. Uh, and this is a big onslaught. It's going to come down as a huge flanking maneuver and it's going to try and cut Isilda's army off. Yeah, it's important to cut the fuel off so you can slow down the AC build and you can slow down the general attack. Um, I really like what uh, Von Ivan is doing right now. Oh yes, with the Polish flank, he cuts them off with a blob on retreat and takes out a Tommy squad. Von Ivan's going for the jugular. Uh, we've got M3 coming in. He's going to chase those Askrens away, hopefully. Oh, but assault maids are coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> he throws one just to keep it away. That's so hilarious. Probably confused his enemy. It's the first time I've ever seen you that in Company Heroes. When you're, when you're fighting Asgrens against your scout car, I mean, definitely not. And he's worried about the flamer pop now. Does he have right to be? No. No, not yet. It was a fake from Von Aston. That, it, that engineer is not currently teching for a flamethrower. However, just the threat, the idea of it for Von Ivan was enough to push him away. That and he does is... have the munitions for the flamethrower. I don't know what he was uh, thinking. Maybe he forgot or something. But No, he just didn't get in territory. It was a neutral territory. You have to be in your own territory. Oh, yes, do it. yes, It was yes. in cut-off land, right? Yeah, well, so yeah, that exactly. was a bluff. It was a gambit. And it was excellent play by Von Aston. Yeah, absolutely. Like, had that flamethrower popped up, there will be some squad wipes, I pretty much guarantee on that one. Certainly, if Von would... Ivan had stayed there and it had popped, you know, it would have been dev... And now it's... There you go. Goes into home territories and comes out with uh, a little present for you. If you get stuck, that is. These assault grenadiers are going to have to get out of there. Yeah. But firepower, though. We got Mechanized Company going up, so uh, OKW players should have Fausts pretty soon. Um, it's going to mitigate mitigate the danger of that half-truck pretty much as soon as this... Build oh, here we go. It, it just went up. And we have the uh, perilous light armor duo of the uh, Vickers mounted Universal Carrier, the Rock 9 Flamethrower mounted M3. 
Gonna start pounding on those walks in... Well, they're not in green cover, which means they're gonna take a lot of damage here, but... Okay, they're retreating. They certainly are. North side. Looks like we've got, again, that trio of folks already is on the march, looking for a, an Alpha Faust. Alpha Faust? Oh my god. Oh yeah. The Wombo Combo. Oh! 2-2-2! Oh. It's coming oh. in. Oh! Oh! M2 goes down. M3 indeed. M3, M3, Sunder. Yes. Got the uh, Royal Engineers coming in. Forcing away the Pioneers. The Soul Gradius stands strong. MP40s ablaze! The Welshman nearly get the kill, but the MG of Baoliang is more than enough to keep them away. Meanwhile, we've got a Kaputz engine for the 2-2-2. What a great game one this is for the underdogs. Baoliang and Von Ivan against the number the tournament number two seeds. They turn up some juice, they're pressing them hard, they're cutting them off. It's 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 a beautiful game by these two. Uh Bao and what Von Ivan. So if they continue is. like this, I can't see how they're these guys are gonna how how uh, allies are gonna counter this. I tell you what, this is very reminiscent of Von Ivan's old 2018 1v1 strategies. Light armor, scout cars, go f going for pretty much like the old mobile defense tactics build. Um, and he, they're doing it as a, a duo, as a tag team maneuver, and it, it's working really well so far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're doing great. Uh, hopefully for, for NA comrades, it can stay like this, but you know... EU folks may not be happy about this result right now, you know. Well, long have EU players dominated the scene, and it's just uh, not healthy. It is not oh, healthy. Is that, because hey, shot no, troopers no. coming in. What a nade on retreat there. Sorry, hey, go ahead. No, it's all right. You, caught, you saw it and called it first. And the combat engineers get the kill. Yeah. That, this is a big setback for allies. We got um, looks on the on the field, but um, T70 is nowhere to be found yet. No. Um, and these losses are gonna set him back. Okay. These oh, they are. There you go. We do have the six pounder finding its mark though. One of the two to twos goes down. The other gets hit and then targeted and taken down as well. Here you go. Von Asten and Silda making their way back in, but there's a fantastic infiltration aid over the fence by the foot Grenadiers. What a game we're watching. Oh my God. Did these penals may go down, but now that they're out, out of danger. Yeah, they're right. fine. This looks fine needs to now. get into the game really quickly and continue the pressure, because there is a six pounder that should get uh, uh, circle strafe, but now. Well, you saw that Bao Liang lost a lot of his uh, population there. Eight, he went from you know 40 to 18 in no time. Luke puts the pressure on the, the north side where the penal battalions don't have any upgrades quite yet. There is the sign of a minesweeper. And as my uh, old co caster Stormus, used to say, minesweeper means mines because it shows that your opponent is thinking of them. And that, that is often the case. A little bit of a psychology, but to be honest, I haven't seen one Aston lay any mines yet, so it might be just preventive extra. Possibly. Luke's getting Larry. Looking. There's some action. In the mid, we've got the six pounders wheeling around, getting pushed by the, uh, the horseless men. Oh, what a shot! He put spin on that one. That's like a table tennis shot. I don't know how that worked. Shock that was... troopers are coming to get some shots off on them. Enemy causing trouble, trying to it's good to get that vision, especially when you have the pack supporting it, or AT gun of any kind, to be honest. And of course, so... if. If the north is pushed, that means the south is currently unguarded. It is the early game. Assault Grenadiers giving the infantry section all kinds of issues. And we've had incendiary uh, rounds popped. Yeah, those Tommies are going to get chased away pretty quick with the incendiary grounds, uh, rounds. And uh, Assault Grens coming and charging at them. Very famous combo, combo here. Penal battalions with the anti-tank package and the shock troopers. Of course, the elite troops of uh, the Soviets did dominate many patches. Nice dodge there by Von Asten on top form is the Dutchman. We got Puma coming out from Von Ivan. Uh, this is actually a smart move because T7 is going to be heavily delayed, uh, which means it's not going to hit the field with Puma guaranteed. No, it is not. Tommy's looking for a flank here on this penal battalion. The Luke's also coming in. Don't forget, by the way, Oh no, there is no, uh, ins there are no infiltration aids on the retreat for these guys. They will be safe, but they don't know that. Yep. 
Now these uh, PTRS rifles doing some work on that uh, looks, forcing him to retreat. Boom has been kept at bay for now. And oh, assault grenadiers, vet two, gunned down mercilessly by the British men of valor. And of course, uh, Isildur tech nades. Um, they popped up right before the assault, so he was able to take out four out of five models there. Excellent work there. And uh, the Universal Carrier getting into position to apply further pressure to this MG34. Because they are keeping fuel control here, it must be said. And they're also taking it in the north. That's a hell of a lot of fuel coming in for the Axis. Yeah, absolutely. This is just going to uh, prolong the misery of allies at this point. Uh, if the fuel situation remains like this. Nice shot by the Puma. Penetrating UC, keeping it at bay. Ah, six pounder though. Getting into a decent position. Let's check out the uh, mid, where shock troopers are shocking those folks going to back to base. Baluyang is building T3, so P4 should be coming really shortly. Excellent insight there st from Sturm Tiger Gaddafi, number one benefactor in co-history, if you've never heard his voice before. Nice shot there by the six-pounder, keeping the Puma at bay. We've got the assault grenadiers in their natural hunting habitat. These little sappers just try and attempt him into throwing grenades. But he doesn't. He throws them on the other squad. That is uh, vital. Just trying to drain down his opponent's uh, munitions there. That is wise play. Yeah, and of course, uh, Assault Grenadiers got uh, a little buff on the mid-range as far as damage is concerned. So they're able to stay in the fight even though, ha even though they have uh, a little bit less health than... Oh, and stay in the fight. They will. These engines are really low on health. Are we going to see a pop in the building? No, not quite from Bao Liang. A lot of kills on these guys. But it needs to keep them alive. Ouch! That's really bad. What's he doing? Was he otherwise preoccupied? He must have been. Because he just lost a vital squad. Nice nade on a treat. Couldn't quite work. There's flames in the way. And he somehow survives. Let's check out the north. What do we see there, Stone Tide Gaddafi? We got a T70, which is really surprising. I don't know <clears throat> why he would tech T70 at this point. Because it's really late. And plus the Puma is on the field. So he's not getting any advantage on that one. Um... Of course, he's got some uh, uh, penals with PTRS that are able to sort of support it, but, um, you know, one Ivan is, is the caliber of the player that can handle Puma. You know uh, why? Desperation, that's why. These guys are heavily pegged back now. Double fuel control for a long time for Axis just now, which means we're going to start seeing um, OKW tacking up. And yeah, but in this particular also. situation, you would like to see something like SU-76 maybe to Agreed. kind of like vehicles. Uh, but definitely not T70 because you have plenty of anti-infantry in uh, in, uh, in shock troops uh, So you can handle your infantry, but you know as far as light vehicles are concerned He just simply does not have a proper counter Saying that there we are seeing that the uh, access players are relinquishing some control But uh, that might be because they were saving for this bad boy only 45 wartime production units were produced but uh, the Ospin has taken on a life of its own in Company of Heroes. This series has seen the Flak Panzer decimate squads since 2006. Uh, this is actually a really good call by uh, by Von Ivan, especially with all these little shock troops running around, two squads, Vet 1 and Vet 2. Uh, so this is definitely going to help him with, uh, with dealing with them. Oh, it's in this perfect place as well. She needs to keep that six pounder out of it, but you can keep the Osfin behind the garrison. And oh my god, this Tommy's in a very low health. Gets out of there, of course. Well spotted by Isilda. Uh, and the building goes down. Almost crashing the Tommy's inside. We're just going to check out the north as well, just to keep an eye on that. Oh, What's that big explosion there? We've just seen. Uh... Here was a Stuka. Didn't spot that one. Stuka from Von Ivan getting three kills on his first barrage. That was a cheeky suka. I didn't see it coming at all. And no, neither did it, it, Isildur from what it looks like. That's that it. fuel dominance, so Stern Tiger Daffy. He caught us off guard, the casters. He also caught his teammate off, uh, sorry, his opponents off guard. Um, just through having that much fuel in the early game, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that was a good shot. We'll see if the call for Stuka is good enough. Um, you know, the six, six pounders are going to be its primary targets. Uh, Talking of six pounders, oh, he couldn't, didn't dare go too far north of that wall. Waiting for some backup, I believe. Yeah. Big shout out to the UC, by the way. Nine kills, vet three. That's a rarity. Yeah, absolutely. You would think that that unit can't last that long, but in a 
hands of a great player, he can do some serious damage even mid game. Of course, we've got a cheeky mine next to the factory by Isildur. Let's see if that's gonna pay out. That's a nice one. And the fuel is now about to be captured there also. See that uh, Von Aston's really trying to think about how to get back in the game against Von Ivan in the north. Uh, but the Puma, the Stern Pioneer, the Lukes, it's like a very fortified position. That fuel stayed in Axis hands for a while. And of course the MG34 is there to support both units in case they have to retreat due to some pack fire, or I guess the Zis fire. <coughs> Osvin just staying at range, just ducking in, taking a nice pot shot and ducking back out, keeping out of range of that six pounder. Meaning it's getting much better battlefield efficiency. Nice grenades there. Tommy's in the center, just about caught that on camera. They've got a difficult retreat path and the Osvin's gonna burst through the wall, but hits the mine and oh. then they've got the six pounder waiting for it. It's again, one more hit and it's out of there. Will it be a miss at max range? UC's gonna try and keep line of sight. Oh, it's just out, no, it's just outside the, the arc of fire. It was literally on the edge of the arc of fire and just overstepped the line there. That's so unfortunate. Now the vet three UC gets stukered to death. Oh, it's unfortunate. There wasn't a bigger explosion like when the fuel burns, but it was actually a really good move. If really it was nice the wasp, I think we would have all had a collective oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. toe to organ orgasm. That would have been amazing. But uh, indeed, what a stuka that was. An assassination by rocket artillery. Oh, my Lord. That is the gameplay of awareness by one Ivan. That's one of the better things that he's uh, capable of, in, especially in 2v2 games. He understands how he's... Uh, uh, Ally is moving and he's able to support him at any point in time. What people don't understand about Von Ivan is he's genuinely like one of the best code players of all time. It's just that he streams for like eight hours at a time and he does so in a, like a lackadaisical, uh, half-hearted manner much of the time. But when he's on form, he's nigh on unstoppable. He's the antidote to Loveness, don't forget, who I would consider probably the best player ever, um, in Co2 at least. And, uh, and Von Ivan has a, a positive win-loss record versus Love Nest, so just take that into consideration. But yeah, you it's can say Von Looker. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard how <coughs> certain good players have extremely uh, uh, troublesome uh, uh, games versus some other uh, top-level players. And, you know, for example, you know, like, uh, Pola can beat Von Ivan at any given day. Oh, yeah. He can also, uh, also lose from him really badly, but Von I, I mean, uh, uh, Love Nest really has... Absolutely no way of dealing with Von Ivan sometimes. Certainly, and uh, here we go. We've got Von Ivan under duress, though, because the onslaught from Von Aston and his teammate is in a concerted effort. He's got vision, but all of Von Ivan's units were able to be preserved there, which is not oh. something you say every day. And he backpedaled really well. What do we see in the south? Uh, in a sound, we got a Cromwell coming Cromwell. in. And he, he's going to be dealing with this MG really quickly, and there are two MGs, actually, which are probably going to have to retreat. To prevent any loss a of huge power. effort from the Allied team. Von Aston and Isildur chose to attack at the same moment in a concerted effort. Have they got the ground to show for it though? Did they achieve their objectives in that big onslaught? Well, just by sheer fact that they were able to secure one fuel, it sort of lets them breathe easily, but uh, you know, um, Pylon has this pack positioned really well so that Cromwell rush is going to uh, be really hard now. That was really uh, gutsy from Isilda to cap that uh, MG with a Vet3 Tommy under fire from the Osman, but he's able to do so. And you have to take chances like that in coming here. It's rather like poker. You will not win a high stakes poker game without taking chances, and Coney Harris is just the same. You have to make, take risks. Here we go, Osman's coming into the center. Causing problems, but it's got a, not much health left, and the Cromwell's Hold gunning on. for it. Will it get, get shot off? Drive, my son, drive! No, no, no. <laughs> Oswin gets out of the danger now, so he needs he to be retreated indeed. back, lick its wounds, and get itself ready for the next round of Onslaught. Oh, yes. Loving yeah, that, sir. My vocabulary is infectious. There we go, 20 minutes. We're going to pause the game. We're going to look at the stats. We're going to take into account the uh, the KDs of all the players. There you go. It's, it's pretty even in terms of fatalities. It just seems like if we go to the graphs and look at points held, that uh, Von Ivan 
and um, Bao Liang have just been able to control the fuel. Um, and there you go. You can see we'll just pick on this one player here. That, of course, is a Silder he's with the six pounder showing he's in a weak position. When your anti tank's your best unit, you know you're not doing too well. Um, and a mustache, you Stern Panther. No. Not Stern Panther. Stern Tiger. Gaddafi, rather. Uh, who. You know, how are you feeling about this? Do you reckon that um, your boy Von Ivan and his teammate Bao Liang can be able to see out this game and take advantage of their superior early game? Yeah, I I, I would think so, especially because you as you pointed out, you know, if if your uh, six pounder is is the best unit that you have thus far, you're in really bad shape. But on the flip side, he he did manage to wipe a couple of uh, assault grenadiers from uh, uh, Bao Liang, so we're gonna see how this pans out. But if I would have to pick a, a, a favorite at this point in game. I'd probably say axes are our favorite favorites to okay, take this there one. There we go. A very small intermission. Let's get back to the live action, or as live as can be at least. And uh, that's two shot troopers use smoke to hide their advance, and the MG is most likely going to have to reposition or, in fact, hard retreat. Elsewhere in the south, we can see that uh, Bao Liang has set up a fortified position. He's got the pack 40 and the MG 34 lying in wait. Uh, shock troops are pushing north, capping that victory point. Of course, uh, allies are bleeding. V v VPs, there's a, about 100 VPs advantage for Axis. That's not a uh, small fry either. That matters. It's only been a 20-minute game so far. Penal battalions are pushing in to apply pressure. This three-man folks from India is going to have to get out of there very soon indeed. Elsewhere in the south, we've got an assault from... Isilda is it second time lucky for these grand operations assaults where both teams go in at the same time. We'll have to keep an eye on two sides of the battlefield. Grenade goes in against the Pat 40. We've got the Cromwell coming in for the Ospin. Meanwhile, Von Aston's assault is being met by Von Ivan. He's trying his best to discard, to protect. We've had an infantry section die for Isilda, and here comes the Stuka. This is good. Oh my god. Almost. Cromwell is low. Cromwell may go down if he's being chased by somebody. Okay, we got P4s coming in. Oh, he's coming in in style. The six pounder is in position though. Will the assault grandiers be able to help out? Tommy's are the target Enemy instead. So to me, it looks. Oh, Stern Pioneers in the north getting checked. Von Ivan needs to protect his own units now. And the um, Ziskins couldn't get the kill. We so... just have to point out that one Aston lost a uh, Pioneer with. Uh... Uh, with a uh, minesweeper in the middle, so we'll see if that they're gonna, if if Vax are gonna capitalize on that and start planting some mines. Fair enough, and uh, it almost seems very World War One esque because there was a lot of death then, but no real territorial change. You know, it's like no man's land is still pretty much no man's land, and the okay. the Germans still have what they had before. Hundred thousand people just died. Exactly, you know, it's just stalemate at this point, and we'll see how it's gonna progress. I mean, we've. Definitely have to consider the advantage that one Ivan has with walking Stukas, especially if he targets those uh, six pounders and tries to clear them out and then get the P4 in position with, along with Austin and Austin and it should be. Um, yeah. I just put that on screen, by the way. That's a comment from RA11AUT. So less team synergy. Why don't they double one side? That's a very valid question. We're seeing currently two one versus ones. Uh, without much two versus two synergy. It doesn't mean it's a bad game or the players are playing badly. It's just an option available to them. Will they change tact and go for a double? Or are they going to maintain the status quo? I mean, you can actually see now that Von Aston is assaulting. He's helping the assault in the south. So they're at least trying to do that on one side. They're trying to use a bit more synergy. So just as we see the comment in Twitch chat, we're starting to see that uh, possibly enacted, but also S-Mines detonated. Well, I mean, you would think that at this point, allies should be able to group together and, and at least secure one fuel, uh, because the, their natural fuel is constantly getting harassed. So, I would like to see if, if they could oh, potentially work together. Oh, squad wipe there by the Stukas of Foos under the hail of smoke fire. That's not good. Absolutely not. Right. Oh my God, we've also had the death there. Cromwell goes down near the, the Cromwell. Nice work by the max range pack 40. Tell you what, it's not looking too good at the moment for Sildur and Von Aston. Oh, what's happening here as well? We've had a engine damage on the T-70. Folks currently is getting deep within enemy lines. The hell's going on, Stendai Gaddafi? This is a, a slobber knocker. 
Ah, slobber knocker everywhere. Like, I, I don't even know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff is going on everywhere. It, it honestly is. As I say, with two one versus ones, when there's not as quite as much uh, t tag team um, double teaming going on, it, it gets incredibly difficult to track. It almost just like you've got an urban base one versus one in the south of Alliance Defiance, and like a more kind of traditional rural one v one in the north, and then occasionally you'll see some action in the center. Well, yeah, well, but see, we, we have a really uh, nice tactical move by Von Ivan when, it, when we got a, a walking Stuka because every time they try to double up on one side and take their fuel, Stuka fires off and kills a couple of models and they enforces a retreat. So this unit is doing much more than actually killing people. It's actually, you know, uh, strategically uh, preventing them from, from, from grouping together and uh, securing their fuel. Another Panzer IV in for Bao Liang. Let's check out the other players' title cards for a little bit. We can see we've got the Command Panther now on the battlefield, so that's an intimidating foe. But here comes the Churchill AVRE and the ISU-152 Heavy Assault Gun, and they're coming for the eastern side of the, the battlefield, the Factory District of Alliance of Defiance. There's the ISU-152 with its first bunker-busting shot. AVRE fires. Oh, he's not, he's not looking at the... Oh. He just oh. about reacted in time and maintained the veterinary assault brands. But this game is fully fermented. It's heated up and it's boiled over into a raging battle now. This is going to be interesting. Like, i never seen those two units come out together. Uh, it's either really good time, time by, by, uh, by allies, one Aston and Isildur, or is it just a coincidence? I have no idea. I think it's their fuel deprivation. This is the earliest time they could get their big call on vehicles onto the battlefield and it just so happened to be the same time Panzer IV is pushing in for a flank looks like the counter punch is here just like Anthony Joshua thought he was up when he knocked down Andy Ruiz Jr in that third round here comes the left hook of the Panzer IVs going in for the AVRE he's got to get that B4 out of there because the six pounder is in position oh but he's still six pounder as well Bao Liang oh and them on marching of the Royal Engineers and the Tommies trying to keep line of sight. Aviore is going for a spigot. Is it going to try and predict the Panzer IV? He hits him point blank in the oh face. Panzer IV takes the brunt of that spigot round. Six pounders coming in. This is going to be a dead Panzer IV if six pounder connects, but he's out of position, rotating Oh out. my god, oh there he goes. Max range with the six pounder finishes the job. I think there's one crew member that wasn't Pate, and he was like driving the tank on instincts there. You know, like, must I go back was, to the fatherland. <laughs> that was picked up by ISU-152, actually. Either or, it's certainly dead now. I dead. Talking of ISU-152s, he's putting some heavy action in. Um, God, this is a desolate battle of annihilation now. It's truly any team's game to win or lose. It's going to hinge on these big beasts. Oh my god, this size 2 is just doing numbers on these vaults. No, that was a good Stuka barrage. This Stuka, by the way, is now up to 14 kills in 4 barrages. Not bad at all. Oh, another AVRE shot. So that's 8. Yeah, indeed. It's got 8 kills now, but a huge vehicle assist that we all witnessed. So uh, ice to get repaired back to full health soon. Must be noted, by the way, that we've still got a victory point control for the Axis team and all this. Command Panther currently blocked in. Is this going to be its death? Gets hit again by the Zisk. Can the ISU-152 fire? No, it can't, is the answer. Shock troops retreating from the victory point, chased away by... Looks, which is vet five, actually, and a little bit less than half health. Oh, Avery misses the point there. Osvin survives. You're not going to get that lucky again against Bao Liang. He was. Nope. Did he actually kill one model from Tommy? Is that a? May have done. May have done. Ishu one five two is a little bit underprotected at the moment. A little bit too advanced for my tastes. Gets blocked in temporarily, but there is no major threat at the moment. This barrage going nowhere by one oh, no. Austin. 
going nowhere fast. And we also have some a great flank by the Panzer Grenadiers, but it was met by the Vickers. Or well, the MG42 stolen, by the, uh, by the way, by Isilda. Probably talked about that at one point, but you can forgive us. This has been a absolute cauldron of chaos by the Masters of Disaster. The meme dream team by Uliang and Von Ivan took it to Von Aston and Isilda, but they've raged back now with the two heavy beasts. The AVRE and the ISU-152. Oh, and look at this Stuka! All right, all right. Going for the support weapons. Good choice. It's also interesting yeah. to note that Bao Liang and uh, uh, Isildur exchanged their machine guns. Bao Liang has met three Vickers. Oh, Panther's rushing in. Going in hard for the ISU-152 with coordinated fire, but is met with a massive wall of AT. Meanwhile, Ostvind is up against the Navy Ori. We have already seen the uh, petard mortar, though. Austin has a damage engine. Let's see if they're going to capitalize on this. There's no support currently, so I think this Austin is going to be just fine. Should be okay. And uh, there we go. Central victory point yet again capped for the Axis, and they're currently going for a triple cap. ISU-152 does not wait for full healing. Comes into battle regardless with a big shot there against the uh, Pioneers. And I think you pointed out to Sentai Gaddafi early that we saw that combat engineer death in the center. We're not yep. seeing very fast repair times at the moment. All of these engineers are VET Zero, vanilla engineers. Yeah, absolutely. Had to rebuild them, and uh, unfortunately, that was one with uh, with uh, uh, sweepers. So I'm surprised that these Axis players are not building some more mines because they simply have no counter for that. Oh, the wall of AT is set up. Where is Von Ivan Stukas? There's two of them. Don't forget. Okay, this VET 3S grants are about to eat a shell. No, nothing. Triple cap still. God, Von Assen and Silda's victory point count is dropping strong. Stuka's firing. Let's see where that's gonna land. He's aiming for the support weapons, probably. Here they come. Tommy's heavily massed. They're retreating. This could be a wonderful Stuka. Oh my god! It was an obliteration oh! from rocket artillery. Two squads oh down. Oh, there you go, and there's another one as well. And this game's in the bag, baby. They finished it off with a checkmate like Rocket Artillery. Double combo by Von Ivan. That was such a good decision to, to, build an, to get another Stuka on field because you simply don't have any armor that can counter the heavy armor of allies, so you might as well just poke them from, from distance. Oh, yeah. And there we go. We just saw, by the way, an AVRE did get a squad wipe, so they can't afford to throw this game. They can't afford to get it met to be messy now they have to maintain concentration if they hope to take a game off the number two seeded team in the tournament Cromwell gun tank ready for action AVRE need of heavy repairs its engine is damaged it's dragging itself back to the base look at this from Bao Liang he's he's feeling the heat his endurance has been tested because he's just kept a vet three pack and let it die on the vi the victory point because he wants to win on victory points ASAP. He's battled hard against these fantastic one versus one warriors as Bao Liang, and he's held his own today as a huge under Absolutely. dog. Bao Liang has just turned up the juice and he said, "You know what? I'm gonna come up there. I'm gonna whoop your ass." He has. And fighting from underneath, BJJ style. He's somehow taken a huge game here, but they just need to continue the aggression and continue the assault. 45 victory points remain. They can't even allow for this victory point to cap. They need to see this game out. They need to Bravo do it now. Bravo is about to go down, chased by B4. Let's see if he can go down. Only Gets a shot help. in, bounces, reverses oh. back away. Panzer Grenadiers come to take the victory point back into Axis hands and just finish the game off now. They don't want to mess around. Oh, we've got Tiger on the field. Oh, yeah. The Tiger is indeed on the field. The Tiger ace is overseeing battle. Much like John Terry at the end of a Champions League final. He's put on the kit and he wants to get the medal. Here's a Stuka. Destroying support weapons. Sappers make it into the circle. 15 victory points remain. Meanwhile, we've got an assault on the middle. MG Vet 2 watches on. Combat engineers coming to try and get it. 11 victory points ticking down to zero. 
11 seconds more. A little bit more, a little, I guess, because they don't have the no cap. Oh yeah, and that's holding strong. They've got the points, they've got this game, and the Tiger marches on. The ISU 152 recoils in terror. That huge cannon now rendered useless as the Tiger destroys it. And Bao Liang and Von Ivan take game. Masters Cup. And there we go. We're back in the room. What a game that was. Oh, I need a cigarette. And uh, sometimes Gaddafi, I mean, how does it feel knowing you've now been, like, been part of one of the best 2v2 games we've seen for an incredibly long time? You know, that's that's awesome. Well, absolutely exciting. I, I was not expecting this kind of performance from Von Ivan and, uh, and Bao Liang, especially because they're... Uh, you know that they're known as, as as good ally players by a lot more so than uh when ivan but they just turned up the juice they didn't let them breathe for the duration of the game and they just got a deserved victory they certainly did and there you can see the game stats by the way um you can see that uh, von ivan had a rare positive kd uh, no and helped to no part i uh, can't speak properly the stuk has helped a lot uh bao liang also and uh Obviously, Von Aston was Soviets, but unfortunately for Hisilda, he had a negative KD as Brits, which is never good. Um, army value-wise, you can see... Well, I think points held is the better graph, so that's the one I prefer to show, to be honest. Um, Von Ivan showing that he held his side of the map really well. Bao Liang, of course, is where the action was. He had the game of his life, I think. And, uh, and there you go. At the beginning, he he did lose a couple of uh, salt grenadiers, but he managed to pull himself together and... Uh... Shut down his soldiers like completely. Von Ivan's infantry play was his best. Uh, best it seems he did lose three folks grenadier squads, but he got fifty infantry kills for um, the point. They got you know some four v four players would be proud of getting nine k in damage in a in a game. Uh, he got it with just his folks grenadiers, so not bad. Um, Bao Liang, his pack forty, I must say, was wonderful on that uh, long straight in between the factories. You know, but yeah, it's a Cracking game. Really so, nice, really nice. Very good. Very good. good. Yes, maybe we'll let you fight tomorrow once you put your teeth back in. I don't know where I got that from. No, mind. 735 Shut viewers watching this stream. Wow. Excellent. That's really impressive for a quarter final. Welcome, one and all. Um, Storm Tiger Gaddafi and I do this for the love of this com competitive community. We're long standing members of this uh, game series and we just love what we do. Um, I'm AE, of course, you've heard my voice casting many of these tournaments over the years, but Storm Tiger Gaddafi is the benefactor of a lot of the community tournaments. Famously put in $1,000 for OCF, um, $1,337 precisely for GCS2. Um, so there you go. Big thanks to this guy. If you want to buy, by the way, bow out, you absolutely owe us nothing. If you want to um, take a bow, but you can eat just as much as easily see out the rest of the uh, the day if you want, Gaddafi. Well, uh, what's uh, what's Ragnar up to? I mean, I really want to hear him cast, actually, because I bet he's going to be a fun guy to listen to. It's possible. It's possible. Um, yeah, if you want to take a, a bow out, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go on an intermission anyway. But I was about to say, uh, for, if any of you want to check out these games, there's my YouTube channel. Just give it a, a sub, a Reno, if you can. It's free. So uh, I tend to just upload tournament games these days. So you will get like spammed, but it's only like once a month or once every two months. And then you've got an entire series playlisted for you to watch. Um, you know, it's always good to watch it on YouTube in case you get a bit bored by some of the gameplay and want to get to the juicier bits. So yeah, um, so check that out, and we're going to be straight back with game two. Uh, the players have a mandatory five minutes um, to recuperate, and then we'll be straight back with the action. So uh, see you in a moment. And uh, everybody say thank you to Stemtag Gaddafi for casting today. See ya, folks. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I lost my casting virginity today. Uh, mm. Had some horrible moments, I guess, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retreat back, reanalyze, and I'm going to get back and... <laughs> try to put a little bit more effort into this. So no, you I'm did a great job. You did a great job. No, no need to be so modest. Thank yeah. you, dude. I'm going to tag Ragnar right now, so you should guys have some fun with Ragnar as well. So, see you guys. Bye-bye.